Hello, Toads and Toadettes. Welcome to the first ever episode of Breakdown, the podcast that focuses on video games centralized around Nintendo series like Mario and Zelda. While those games are the main focus of this podcast, there are many others that can be discussed on this channel, even ones from other developers like Sony or Microsoft. We here at Breakdown have a love for all video games. If you wonder why Breakdown sounds like that, it's because of our logo, a thwomp from the Mario series, and the noise it makes when it moves. If you're unfamiliar with it, I highly recommend looking it up, although I will do my best impression here. And of course, that's uh, why we got the breakdown! The first thing I'd like to discuss on this very first episode of Breakdown is the recent Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, the one at E3 2021, uh, the second trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. We still don't know the title yet um, because they don't want to give it out because it is supposedly going to give away something to do with the game. I have a couple theories. Um, some are from YouTube videos I've seen. Some are from personal theories I have. Um, but I just would like to discuss what I think the game is about and what my personal opinion of the trailer we have received is. Firstly, I'd like to discuss the first trailer, actually. Um, the one that we were introduced to about, was it two years ago now? It was like June, sometime in June 2019 that we were introduced to Breath of the Wild 2 for the first time. And for my YouTube viewers, I'll edit in the video, but obviously since this is a podcast, you guys can't see, you know, what I'm talking about. Um... But the first of all, the, the first thing that I notice is the music. It's kind of creepy. It's got this weird, ominous, like, off-putting, like, minus tones, I guess is how I'd, I'd put it. It's very ominous. The first thing you notice besides that is the swirling green text that's almost like Gerudo script. And it's surrounding this weird, you know desecrated body of what appears to be like Ganondorf, and you see Link and Zelda through this cave riding a giant creature. Um, it appears to be like an ancient Zonai cave. They appear to be reaching this body of Ganondorf. And we don't really know much other than that. It's just like boom, Zonai Ruins, boom, Ganondorf, or whatever this desecrated body is. Um, Link apparently gets this glowy hand thing. Zelda gets, like, she just looks spooked. She looks like she falls into 
a crevice of some sort. We learn more about that in the second trailer. Um, we look. It appears that the um, the castle like shifts a little bit in the first trailer. And then, of course, I'm looking through it right now. That's why you can hear me clicking. But, of course, it says the sequel to Breath of the Wild is in development. Um, so, yeah, we find out quite a bit. I mean, I say quite a bit, but really, we know nothing. Um, it, it's very interesting. Very dark. Very different atmosphere from the first Breath of the Wild. Um... I say first Breath of the Wild, but you know what I mean. Like, the first game. Apparently, it's supposed to be a lot like Majora's Mask. Although, I I heard recently that they're not comparing it to Majora's Mask. Um, the only reason I said they compared it to Majora's Mask is based on tone. It's supposed to be like Ocarina to Majora's Mask. Meaning, like, oh, Breath of the Wild was, you know, kind of... Uh, colorful and bright and happy um, and this game is going to be dark and the tone is going to be a lot more depressing but recently like I said they just came out with an interview that said it's not going to be like Majora's Mask which I'm not sure exactly what they meant by that maybe it's going to be more like Twilight Princess and the tone I'm not sure starting with the second trailer We see, like, the malice, the really, really dark malice. It appears to be almost like a, a different shade of red um, from the malice we're used to in Breath of the Wild. And we see the Ganondorf figure, and we see Zelda falling into the crevice. Uh, it looks like a bottomless pit, almost. Uh, and then we see Link, like, falling from the skies, or what appears to be Link. My theory is that we're going to be... be we're going to be playing as an ancient Zonai hero. The one from 10,000 years ago. The one that, when you're talking to Impa and she's telling you about the story, um, I think the king also tells you about it too. Uh, spoiler alert. The hero that took down Calamity Ganon 10,000 years ago I think we're going to be playing as him. That's what my theory is. It almost seems like... Since we never see this character's face... And he's missing his arm... He's got like the Sheikah attack in his arm... It almost appears like... Maybe he's a different hero. I don't know. It's just a theory. And I've seen other people discuss this theory as well. Because... There's a lot of different things that point to the Zonai in this, which is that ancient civilization that nobody has any idea about, that they kind of hinted at in Breath of the Wild. Very interesting. Very interesting uh, theories I've read and heard about. 
that I really, really like. In the trailer, we could see Link, or whoever this hero is, running through these floating islands. And we could see a bunch of different creatures. We see, like, this construct of some sort. Um, we see the stone talus with the bokoblins atop it, which super, super awesome design. Uh, if you haven't seen, um, oh, what's this video? If you haven't seen North of the Borders video about him recreating that, like out of miniature figures and stuff, that's super cool. I, I highly recommend that. A link will be in the description. Um, that looks very, very cool. Then we see Link with his, or whoever this hero is, with his powers. You know, we see, like, a flaming shield. Um, we see, like, the water element thing, more floating islands. Then we see the castle floating up with, like, all the malice and stuff. Very crazy stuff. Really, really nuts. And then we see the 2022. That's when it's going to gonna come out so i'm super hyped i don't know about you guys the um the breakdown for this though breakdown is pretty straightforward we see link or whoever this hero is with this constructed arm it's like black with all these weird lines on it it's almost like that scene where he has the the green energy around it did something to his arm almost as if it amputated it um i, I don't think i mentioned the the fact that the malice actually took over his arm too so i think that malice amputates his arm and the green energy, whatever that may be, is going to basically give him a new arm. However that works. Which is super cool. Maybe it's like Sheikah energy. Um, not sure. Super, super cool. One other thing I noticed is that this hero does not have the Master Sword at all during this trailer, I don't believe. Uh, you can re-watch it if you want. I've seen it several times, but I don't think I've seen the Master Sword in it. Uh, the only time we see it is in the beginning of the... or during the first trailer. So, something happened to the Master Sword. Be it the Malice consumed it, like I've heard one theory... Um, or perhaps he lost it when all the, you know, the shaking and, and the castle lifting happened. Obviously something bad happened. Ganondorf or whoever this being is that's being, uh, trapped by this glowing green hand and the malice is kind of spreading from him. Whatever this being is, it's obviously very powerful and being held by another powerful entity. So, it would only make sense that the beginning of the game would have Link and Zelda meet up with this powerful entity and get split up. I, I highly don't... I, I don't think that you're going to be able to play as Zelda. I know people were thinking that you were going to be able to, but I, I really don't think so. That just seems like... Um, I mean... I don't think Nintendo is going to do that, only because that's just not how Zelda games are. You're supposed to be Link saving Princess Zelda. That's how the that's how it's been. That's how it's always going to be. I mean, I don't see it being the other way around, other than like Hyrule Warriors, which is where she, you know, can fend for herself. Just because it, it, that's just not how it goes. That's not how the algorithm goes. Um, although, I will say that this Zelda is capable. Um, although, I think a lot of them are capable, too. I think Twilight Princess Zelda is capable. Um, I wish I had my co-host with me, because he would rant about 
Twilight Princess Zelda. Anyway, the third thing I'd like to talk about is what I read about Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever it's going to be called. I mentioned this a little bit in the beginning, but why they aren't giving a title. So the reason they aren't giving a title yet, and like I was hoping they were going to give one when they showed the second trailer at E3. I was like, oh man, they're going to give a title finally. I was disappointed a little bit, but from what we saw, I'm super hyped. I'm not disappointed enough to be like, oh, I'm not going to buy the game. Because obviously, that's going to be a day one purchase. Um, there's nothing they could do to disappoint me. I mean, seriously, that it just looks so great. And Breath of the Wild was so good, too. I think uh, the reason they didn't do it is because it's going to be something related to the Zonai. I think it's going to be something along the lines of Legend of Zelda you know, Legend of Zonai, or Legends of Zonai, Tales of the Zonai, Hero of Zonai, you know. I don't know. It might not be. I mean, it, it's very, very possible it won't be. This is just a theory. I just... With the theories that I've heard from, like, Mask Nintendo Bandit and, like, Celtic... Um, if you're not familiar with them, their channels will be in the description. They have similar theories, and that's where I'm, I've kind of based my theory off of. That seems like the most logical case. I mean, based on what they've shown us, that's what makes the most sense. So, yeah. Um, another thing I should mention is... I know we're talking about Breath of the Wild 2 and, and all about that, but we should talk about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. What a phenomenal game. I know that technically it's not canon um, because of all the time nonsense, but it should be considered uh, as a very good title because it's a very fun, very well-made game, um, just like the other Hyrule Warriors. One of the things I very much like about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is the fact that you could play as the champions. I mean, obviously, because that's what it's about. It's about before the Calamity. I like that the new DLC that they announced at E3 is going to have the, a Guardian, a playable Guardian. That's freaking awesome. So, that's pretty cool. So, for this one, I'm keeping it relatively short. I'm trying to keep these under 20 minutes because I know people are busy and they got lots of things to do. Breath of the Wild 2 appears to be very interesting from what I can tell. And there's not a lot of details out yet. So, other than those two trailers, so really I don't have a lot to talk about other than those theories. I would very much like to hear what you have to say about it, and what your theories are. So if you could leave a comment down below, that'd be great. Um, and by all means, like and subscribe if you are interested in hearing more. I have a few more episodes planned, and by a few I mean a lot. Um, I plan on getting Breakdown pretty popular. At least I hope. I, um, put a lot of time into this, and I really, really would appreciate your support. So, um, thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. Take care.